Hey. It's your ASMR friend. Just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. And thank you for taking the time to check in with me. I'm actually feeling anxious myself. You know, it's been a long week and lately at work it's been a little more stressful than usual and there's times where I think am I not doing this right? Am I making too many mistakes? Are they gonna fire me? Do they like me enough to keep me around? Do they still see potential in me? You see, I have a really terrible habit of letting these kind of thoughts control me. You know, I've identified this issue, this fear and feeling that no matter what I do, I'm not good enough. And it's a battle. There are days when I can absolutely say that's not true. I'm plenty good enough. I'm great. I'm wonderful. But then other days it feels like the universe is trying to tell me no. It is true, you're not good enough. But of course, it just takes time, effort, commitment to be better, better in understanding yourself and recognizing when you're feeling like that that you know we're not our thoughts we are complex but we are worthy and you are worthy so if you're feeling stressed about work, about life. I hope you come and stop by because I am your ASMR friend and I am here for you. I'll pay for that light later, I promise. <laughs> Whoopsies. So yeah, I thought, uh, you know, this is kind of what I would used to do when I had a car. If I had these thoughts is just get out of the house, get in the car, go for a drive. If you want to crank tunes, do it. If you want to listen to a, a book or a podcast, or even if you just want to enjoy the ambiance. It can be a good time to get out and reflect and do a little soul searching, which I think we need to do, all of us, from time to time. We are evolving, time changes, and we change with it. I already feel better talking to you, so thank you, for real. I think too, no, I know that another reason I'm feeling anxious is the social side of life, friendships, dating, you know, right now it's there's just kind of a weird drama 
amongst my friends. And I think it's because I can't control it that has me feeling this way. That almost despair-like feeling of wanting to fix something that it's just not your job. And, you know, really, it comes down to communication, always. But another reason I'm anxious for this is because throughout my life, I've always thought of friends as like, oh, they'll be there for a little bit, but sooner or later, they all move on. And my mind made the assumption of, oh, they're moving on, they're leaving you behind. So that's a feeling I would do, you know, that I would have. And so you can see why I would battle with this feeling of, no, I'm not good enough. A failure of communication. But the important thing is to do that hard work, to be vulnerable, is scary and daunting. As I can feel sometimes. Trust me, it's so much better than regret. Oh, I should have said that. Oh, I wish I would have said that. I wish I would have taken the time to express myself. Now, for me, the hardest part is just waiting because I know everything is about timing and if I try to patch these holes that it's not going to work and it'll just leave me feeling even more anxious potentially frustrated Maybe even more sad. Because I have, like anyone. I've had friends that, for various reasons, you know, they do. They move out of your life. But of course, it's not always a bad thing. And sometimes it's a good thing. And you may have done it with someone without even really realizing it. Maybe that's just me speaking. But when I look at my Facebook friends, you know, it's... I, I don't refer to it as my friend list. It's my Facebook friend. Because truly, I don't really know a lot of people on that list. Not the traditional way that you know a friend. You know what I mean? And it's okay. Life certainly won't always go the way you think. We have to adapt. You're a really good listener, and I appreciate you so much. Yeah, you know, just talking now, I feel better about both of these situations that have me anxious. And 
I know that with the work stuff, it is entirely possible, yes. Maybe I am making too many mistakes, but it's not because I am a terrible employee or I am bad or I am not good enough. I am more than enough. And I am trying. I'm putting the effort in. Sometimes it's easier to do that at work than it would be, say, with friends. Because sometimes you just take it for granted. You just think, well, they're my friends, they'll always be there. What? Okay. Granted, that was my bad. I turned. Didn't use a signal. Um. Yeah, don't report me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, sorry. I, uh. Like I said, I don't have a car. It's been a while since I've driven around. But it feels good. And I think maybe I should just take this time to say it again. That I appreciate you. I appreciate you for who you are. For who you've always been to me. I appreciate everything about you. And again, anytime you need to. You stop on by. Because I'm always here to check in on you. Oh. That one was not my fault. You all saw that. Also, if you are also a Night City dweller, let me know. Do you think this car is just too ridiculous? <laughs> like, like, look. good for getting around this little city of ours. I just thought it'd be funny to drive this one. <laughs> wow. The benefit of driving around this city is just Getting to see all the beautiful architecture in this world. And maybe that's important, especially today, especially right now. How anxious I've been feeling is to say, take that time to appreciate what you have and appreciate the beauty 
these little things that sometimes take for granted. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've been down this road, literally. And how beautiful this view is, and how good it feels to be moving forward, to not look back. Again, yeah, I'm feeling so much better. And I don't think I can say it enough, so I'm going to say it again. Thank you. You really are a good friend to me. Well, now that I'm feeling better, I can feel my appetite coming back a little bit actually now and now I'm realizing that I'm actually pretty hungry I'm gonna pull over here I'm gonna grab some food I know, maybe not the healthiest choice, but gosh darn, I love a good burrito. If you like what I do, please like and subscribe and know that I appreciate you. Alright, have a good night.